Alrighty, this is day 23. I'm super behind on my filming schedule. Um, this is Tuesday's video. I'm also a little sick, by the way. So, just but. So, I'm gonna just kind of talk about what I did on Tuesday, and hopefully today I can catch up on all my videos. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, day 23, like I said. Um, this is my journey of zero to one billion dollars where i just document my day-to-day -day life of my entrepreneurship journey um building my business and my skill sets every single day um and right now i run a home servicing company and for my source of lead generation i'm only doing door knocking right now so i do basically door-to-door -door sales on a day-to-day -day basis um so yeah, let's kind of talk about so tuesday i i talked about in a couple other videos I did not go to work um, because I had something planned with my dad that we planned a while ago. So, you know, stuff happens. I prioritize time with my family for sure. Um, yeah, we just went to go watch a soccer game. So I did that with my dad on Tuesday and then kind of just did a little bit of some CRM work and it's honestly about it. Didn't really get much done on Tuesday as far as like knocking and stuff like that my day literally just revolves 90 percent of it around door knocking so when i'm not doing that i'm not doing much else but yeah i want to talk about something in specific since i don't have much to talk about for tuesday's day i see a lot of comments talking about how getting a billion dollars will not bring me happiness and it's a bad goal to have not exactly like that but like all things around that and i'm here to tell you that i totally understand that money does not bring happiness um obviously it opens up doors to things that could bring you happiness but like i don't think like once i hit like a billion dollars then like i will be happy i'm fully aware of that i'll kind of give you my thinking behind this and i'm not saying my thinking is right at all i'm just saying this is the way i think of things so a couple things so i think that that what would really bring me true joy in life is just being able to look back and know it know i gave it my all and kind of i mean a billion dollars is a small percentage of people in the world i don't know the statistic but it's just, i assume it's like super low number so that's kind of just like the maximum bar or whatever you can call it like that's a super high goal to have and i think in all aspects of my life i would just love to look back and know that i gave it my all like in terms of like my physique in terms of my relationship in terms of raising my kids in terms of um like everything i do i think just giving it my all i can look back at life with no regrets and i think that's such a scary feeling imagine looking back knowing you could have done this or you could have been this type of person that always scares me so for that reason like I always want to live and look back with no regrets. Obviously, I can't control everything. But I think if I look back, I would be pretty satisfied if I give it my all. So, so yeah. So, billion dollars is just a super high goal. And that just, the reason for that is because I want to just know I gave it my all. And I think giving it my all would be um, a billion, a billion dollars. That's like around what it would look like. And then the bar is only going up. So once I hit a billion, maybe we'll go for 10. Maybe we'll go for 100. But, but um, so yeah. Another thing I want to talk about is I believe that motivation comes from deprivation. And I'll kind of expand on that super quickly. Because motivation um, comes from deprivation, a homeless person may not feel poor like living on the street literally like we just consider what's at the bottom right a homeless person living on the streets they may not feel deprived of money i mean maybe to an extent but the millionaire surrounded by billionaires that guy feels poor than that homeless guy sleeping on the road even though in some people's eyes like maybe the homeless guy would love to be in that shoot but just because he is so deprived and surrounded by people of like such like high status whatever money um you can you can see that that 
he would be much more deprived of it just because he's always around and things like that. So I think if I, by setting a goal for myself of a billion dollars, like it's very easy for me to get complacent if I were to just set like a $10,000 goal because I'm not too far off from like a 10K month. Obviously like yes, but like I'm not too far off. So in that sense, when I get like somewhat close, it's very like easy for me to get comfortable when I get to the 10k month you know what I mean but as far as a billion dollars I am damn where damn nowhere near a billion dollars so for that reason I feel so much more deprived of it and for that reason it's gonna push me to go harder but that's not only that's not also to say that like again if I don't get a billion dollars I won't like reach like I won't I'll feel like a failure no I think if I gave it my all and, and I just use a billion dollars as an example of giving it my all because I think that's like what giving it all financially looks like. Again, like I said, that's not the only place where I want to strive. I want to strive in all areas of my life, like spiritually, mentally, physically, all things. Like I want to be do the best I can. Just a billion dollars is just kind of the financial goal. And a lot of my, I mean, a lot of 10 hours of my day, and it's what I think about a lot, revolves around money like that's just the way it is call it shallow call it call it whatever but that's the way things are like i work hard and i work for 10 hours a day so i like surround myself a lot around money um so that's why i kind of title this video zero to one billion and yeah that's kind of all i wanted to touch base on with that thing um but as far as everything else, make some new videos. We'll get some all videos posted up. Hopefully get back up today and then I can like produce some higher quality content. Peace.